In this video, I will introduce two concepts. The first concept is that of a set. So a set is a collection of objects. For example, I have a set consisting of the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we typically represent a set using curly brackets, and we will place the objects that make up the set inside the curly brackets. So in this example here, this entire block is a set. It is a collection consisting of the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. The numbers themselves, so the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, are set to be the elements of this set. So these numbers that make up the set, they are the elements of this set. And they're also called the members. So these are just alternative terminology. So these numbers can be called the elements or the members of this set. And so that's what a set is. It is simply a collection of things. One thing you should note is that a set can also be a member of another set. So for example, I have the set 1, 2. So this is a set that consists of the numbers 1 and 2. And it is also possible to have another set that consists of the set containing 1 and 2, as well as the numbers 3 and 4. So you can contrast this example over here with our previous example. In our previous example, we had a set consisting of four objects and all of those objects were numbers. Here in this example, we have a set consisting of three objects, where one object is a set and the other two objects are numbers. So here you can see that a set can also be a member of another set. The second concept I'd like to introduce is this symbol. So this is a variation of the Greek letter epsilon. So we will use this symbol to express the idea that an object is a member of a set. So going back to our previous example, so going back to this example, so I'll just use the capital letter A to represent the set that consists of 1, 2, 3, and 4. And you can see that the number 2 is an element of this set. And in that case, we will use this notation to represent this idea. So 2 is a member of the set A. And on the other hand, you will see that the number 5 is not an element of the set A. And in order to express this, we will say that 5 is not an element of A. So this is how you use this symbol.